Hello everyone, welcome to the latest installment of our in-depth newsletter. I say latest, my goodness, it's been a long time. I'm Nico Lero and I am joined as always by the rock star over to my left, Mr. Michael Mendino. How are you doing today? I'm good, mate. It's been way too long. How have you been? I know. We got a, yeah, doing good, working hard and uh, bringing content to to all our good people out there. So. Yes. <laughs> right? Bring the content. What you got for me this month, Michael? So we're going to start out as we do with a couple questions. Of course. How deep is the deepest cave dive? Self-contained cave diving. Yeah. And who did it and when and where? Where? My go-to would be probably Bushman's Gut. But good, then that really good guess, but no, fortunately not that. <laughs> so if it's not Bushman's Gut, that means it's not Nuno. So my other guess would be Harry Harris, Hydrogen Harry. And that would be in Australia. Was it Australia? New, New Zealand. Zealand. Pierce, Pierce New Resurgence, Zealand. New Zealand, where he just yeah, yeah. did the world's first hydrogen rebreather dive. Yeah. But yeah. Not, not Harry, unfortunately. So I guess we'll, at the end, uh, you got yeah. any more guesses? Yeah. All right. No, no, I'm done. Nuno or Harry would have been my <laughs> Yes, Michael. we'll come back to that. So what new stories you got for me, buddy? This month, we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of GUE. Can you imagine? I mean, what a milestone. Yeah. Mm. So we're uh, kicking off the issue with uh, an illustrated timeline of the last, eh, it's about 30 years, actually, last 30 years of history uh, with GUE and, and Jared and everybody. So uh, people, uh, it, it'll be pretty fun to see. We, we've done a with pictures and little history. So uh, we have that. And then Jared, who's, of course, the founder and prez of GUE, has done a great perspective piece, you know, kind of looking at where we where we came from, where we are, and where we're going. So uh, I think people will uh, really enjoy that. And GUE is also known for, you know, science and data, right, with the yeah. science, science diving. So we have Jen Thompson, uh, our former uh, next-gen scholar, who is a sci scientist. And... Uh, her talking about the GUE scientific program and how it fits into the broader scientific programs of like the American Academy of Underwater Scientists, the European Underwater Scientists, etc. So, uh, yeah, so it's a really, really interesting piece, I think. Uh, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. And I'm very sad actually to see Jen's scholarship come to an end. She's been a ray of light. I've loved working with her. What else do we have? So a couple more stories. So back in the day, this is back in the 80s and 90s, we used to say, hey, you want to become a tech diver? You should take a cave diving class. You know, whether or not right. you want to be a cave diver, it doesn't matter. You'll learn. So now we are saying, you want to be, you're a tech diver? You want to be a tech diver? Take a free diving class. I mean, these are the people that have operationalized the knowledge and the ability to manipulate their physiology to great effect, right? I mean, the mm -hmm. top athletes are all diving below uh 100 meters right you know, deeper than 100 meters even intermediate free divers are reaching tech depths 50 60 meters etc right. so uh there, there's something to be learned and we have ted hardy who's a former national captain uh, the u.s captain and a free diving instructor explaining why so i, I think everyone will enjoy no enjoy that's super piece. interesting yeah. funnily enough when you break it down the way you do that makes complete sense that's that right yeah, that's you know? super interesting. and finally we have uh yeah it's an important story on emergency contact information this actually arose out of a, a fatality a ben strelnick uh, a dan medic a uh, rebreather diver who who died this earlier this year in a cave got stuck and the problem was his phone was locked nobody had any contact information and it was already a horribly horrible situation and stressful and that made it even worse because of course law enforcement wants to contact people etc so so this is a story about by the people who are involved about being prepared so uh, yeah. really important and and we have some remembrances in this issue of course brett hemphill just passed away explorer brent hemphill um han ting uh in china uh, another yeah. cave explorer and then brett gillum of course the founder of tbi and uh, one one of our true characters in diving so uh, we'll have some remembrances of them but uh, but now we come back to our questions <laughs> right who did this? Where did they do it? Deepest cave dive. Xavier Meniscus, a French cave explorer, dove to 286 meters or 938 feet for you imperialists uh, at Font Estremar in France in 2019. This guy is, I think there's so many caves, so little time. 
he's just a prolific explorer. He's working about six different systems. Many of them are deep, you know, sub sub 200 meters, sub 150 meters. He yep. dives a triple rebreather and he has some unique physiology that is going to make people's eyes open. Some of the tolerances he has for gas, which is quite remarkable. So uh, it's a question and answer interview with him. And uh, I think people will enjoy reading it. Yeah. Be interesting to see, given what he how he responds physiologically to gases. Now that Harry's done this hydrogen dive, if that becomes something that becomes more widely spread. Well, we talk a little about that. I mean, he's certainly plugged in with like the COMEX people who did a lot of the pioneering work in uh, hydrogen that Harry consulted as well. So, yeah. uh, so we talk about that in the interview. And of course, Harry and Xavier know each other. You know, this there's just a really elite group of about a handful of handful of cave, cave divers who are doing these super deep dives. So uh, quite, quite interesting. Yeah. No, that's special. That sounds amazing. So Michael, when is this, all of this content info out and where can people find it? Yes. All of it is coming out this Thursday, November 2nd. So look for it in your, your inboxes. Uh, we'll be mailing it out. And then of course, this is the issue we'll be bringing to the GUE conference in High Springs in a couple of weeks and then DEMA. So uh, look forward to seeing everyone there. And uh, but check out the issue in the in the meantime. I think you'll enjoy it. And where can people find it? Indepth.blog or GUE.com forward slash blog. And, and I think you put it right down there. Our YouTube channel. <laughs> if you are new, please then subscribe uh, for your monthly dose of new new diving news stories, bit of entertainment from these two gents right here. And generally, if you're interested in diving, this is a channel for you. A bit more advanced yeah. than some of the recreational stuff you see. It's tech focused. So if this is something you like, guys, hit the subscribe button. Like the video if you haven't done so already. Tickle the notification bell so you know whenever we've got new content going out. And we will see you, hopefully, next month with uh, yes. when Michael and I reunite to discuss more great diving news. Michael, thank you as always for joining me. And we will see you. Thank you, Nico. Bye, everybody.